Item 12A is a report by the Bureau of Land Management. They want to come forward? Mr. Mayor and Council Members, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'm Mary Jo Rudwell. I'm the District Manager for the Bureau of Land Management Southern Nevada District. Um, I'm here tonight just to provide a brief update on the trespass cattle gather that you probably heard about uh, in the community and probably read about in the media. Um, as background, since 1993, Branded and unbranded cattle have been in trespass on public lands that are administered by the Bureau of Land Management, uh, our Las Vegas field office, um, and also on the National Park Service's Lake Mead National Recreation Area. We've made repeated attempts to try to elicit uh, compliance, voluntary compliance from Mr. Clyde and Bundy to remove these cattle. The United States District Court for the District of Nevada issued a permanent injunction and ordered him to remove his cattle in the late 90s. The Interior Board of Land Appeals also affirmed BLM's decision that canceled his range improvements that were located on the public lands. Gathers of livestock are really a last resort for us. We try very hard to get uh, folks that are not in compliance to voluntarily become compliant. Uh, Mr. Bundy has not had a permit since the early 90s in this area. In April, we had scheduled uh, an operation where we were going to remove approximately 750 head of cattle. Um, and just before um, this operation occurred, I was informed that it had been suspended indefinitely. Our intention was to gather the cattle and return the branded cattle to the owner or owners of those cattle, and then to give all estray or unbranded cattle to the state of Nevada Department of Agriculture per Nevada state law. Uh, many of us people have asked me why the BLM decided to try to uh, do an operation after this trespass had been occurring for almost 20 years. Um, my response is that I don't really know what my predecessors did before I got to Southern Nevada. I arrived in 2008, and this is one of the first things that I was briefed on when I got to Southern Nevada in my current job. Um, and for me, um, I looked at this as something that had gone on for many years and had not been resolved. And for me, it's, it's two things. Number one, uh, a trespass, a willful trespass, is not fair to the many thousands of ranchers um, and other users of the public lands that follow the rules and pay their fees as a regular course of, of doing business. Um, and the authorization that Mr. Bundy had in the early 90s was, was, was for 152 head of cattle. There are now anywhere between 750 and 800 cattle in the area. Uh, because the operation was suspended, uh, the question, the other question that I've been asked is what are we doing now? Um, what we're doing now is working with state, local, and federal officials uh, to try to go back to court and get a refreshed, more current, and more comprehensive court order that would order him to remove the cattle from public land. Um, as always, we would prefer uh, voluntary compliance and my door is always open to have a discussion with Mr. Bundy uh, to try to affect that voluntary compliance. Um, as I was coming in uh, this evening, the mayor asked me to talk a little bit about wilderness. Um, there are currently two designated wilderness areas in the Gold Butte area. One is called Lime Canyon. The other is called Jumbo Springs. Um, it's important to note that wilderness is designated by Congress. Mary Jo Rugwell, BLM in Nevada, does not have the power to do that. That's not our job. Our job is just to plan and manage lands based on whatever Congress decides to do. Um, in Gold Butte, there are also a wilderness study area and what's called an instant study area. Uh, the wilderness study area is called Million Hills. 
and the instant study area is Virgin Peak. Um, both of those were um, designated prior to, to now, and in the early 90s, the BLM recommended to Congress that it would be more appropriate that these two areas be released to multiple use, but Congress has not taken any action on those two areas. So currently, the only designated wilderness areas in Gold Butte are Lime Canyon and Jumbo Springs. Those two designated areas, we are currently working on management plans for both of those, and we had a series of public meetings last year. Um, we're also currently working on a resource management plan revision for Southern Nevada. Um, and that, the job, one of the things that we have to do in that is if citizens provide us wilderness proposals, we have to evaluate those proposals. But again, we cannot designate wilderness. Uh, we just evaluate the proposals and make recommendations to Congress based on that. Um, I think the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, um, you know, the Gold Butte area currently is managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It is not designated, but it is a very, very special area. Uh, right now, we are working with the local communities to try to establish some plans for very simple infrastructure that would allow the area to be better used by the public um, and protect the re really amazing resources that exist there. And the kinds of things we're talking about are just areas to park, vault toilets, picnic areas, some places where people can camp, things like that. Nothing elaborate or highly developed. Um, and that's really all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Redwell.